We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva today and very pleased to be joined by Frank van der Putten, who's one of the key experts working in the domain of the access technologies that bring internet into our homes. Welcome, Frank. Thank you, Phil. We're glad to be here. I understand that there's a key new standard uh, that ITU is working on that should be due before the end of the year called GFAST. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about it. Well, GFAST is the follow-up on ADS and NVIDIA as well, so things that the Q4 has been working on uh, for the last 15 years. And so where ADS was about a few megabits per second to the end customer, NVIDIA is a few tens of megabits. GFAST will be about a few hundreds of megabits to the, uh, to the end customer, so that, that should really enable much faster services uh, to, the, uh, to the end user and also allow the operator to provide those services uh, to the end user in particular ways that we did not have with uh, ADSL and VDSL. So, so what sorts of things will it mean for uh, a, a consumer like myself? What, 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 what will GFAST, if I subscribe to a GFAST service, what will it bring? GFAST service will bring the hundreds of megabits of service way faster than ever before. It's like a uh, hundred times faster than, than ADSL. So, so that means services like Ultra HD video or uh, cloud services, uh, things alike that require a lot of bandwidth. These are evolving all the time. And a key aspect will also be that GFAST wants to be a self-installed technology. So that means that when the end user gets his uh, box, let's say, from the uh, operator, it could be plugged in any telephone socket in the home. So that means that the end user would not need to uh, drill the walls or anything of this. No new wires to be installed is a very important aspect of uh, GFAST. Uh, and I guess that's a really important aspect for the operators because they won't then have to deploy technicians to people's homes. That's exactly the intention from the operator perspective to fold no technicians uh, to the homes, because self-installed for the end user. But also GFAST goes together with what we call the fiber to the distribution point. So very close to the home, say maybe only 100 meters away. And for the operator, it's important to offer like a an, an fiber to the home experience uh, to the end user. Uh, by not having to dig the front yards or drilling the walls or anything of that sort. And inst also installing the equipment first time right. So that means if there come are new users coming along, the operator would not have to dispatch technicians uh, neither to the network equipment uh, close by the premise, neither inside the premise to assist the end user in with the installation. And, and, and realistically, when might I be able to subscribe to GFAST from, uh, from my operator at home in France? No, well, our intention is, our goal is to uh, approve the first uh, version of GFAST, which we uh, want to be like 100, megawatt, 100 megahertz wide uh, profile early next year. Uh, so that's going to mean that like traditionally uh, after we make a standard uh, there's going to be some interoperability testing which is of key importance uh, where we collaborate mm. with, with the broadband forum on this. Uh, then the silicon needs to be implemented, systems needs to be put together by the, the system vendors. So let's say sometime 2015 we could be expecting uh, equipment, so some first trials have been announced, and so that's a good thing to show that the intended uh, the bandwidths that users need are effectively working on the existing wiring uh, mm -hmm. as intended by the standard, so that's, uh, that's quite key in this. Uh, I, I look forward to that. Um, uh, what one final question. GFAST um, is, is, is used on uh, copper yes. wires. Have we now reached the limit of what we can do with those traditional, uh, that, that traditional part of the telecommunication network, those copper wires? In the sense of the deployment scenario, where we have now come to the point where we only use really the last uh, few meters, let's say, of, of the wire, uh, probably, yes, the next stage would be fiber to the home, probably. Uh, from a standards perspective, as I mentioned, we're going to do a first version, 100 meg wide. There is the intention to do a second version subsequently that is like 200 megahertz wide in 
putting this kind of frequencies on the wire, though, we need to be careful not to disturb other services. So uh, we have to uh, take into account all kind of uh, abilities also as part of the standard in how the operator can make sure not to disturb FM radio or TV mm -hmm. uh, or audio broadcast or any of those services. That's also an important aspect that the uh, regulators are watching as well. Well, uh, I, I'm sure I'll be coming back to you with the same question in, in, in 10 years' time. But thanks very much for joining us today, Frank. Thank you.